people that dumbass in South Dakota decided to put rocks in at the spillway and this is the result of somebody with a degree and no fucking common sense whatsoever. There's fucking millions of dead fish caught in the rocks now. That used to be a spillway right here where they would spawn and come up every year. This is more chaos of the fucking South Dakota engineers being super smart and filling the dam up full of rocks. It's the other side of the dam. It's a couple million dead fish. And it's going to smell like real ass here come springtime. Fucking idiots. Full well, of dumbass and South Okay, here's an update with all this, these dead fish. Um... If you see, everyone's thinking lack of oxygen, it's not the rocks. No, it's the rocks. If you see how the rocks go and they stop and they make an ice dam right there, the fish cannot swim under that ice because the ice is on top of the rocks. So they can't get under it. It's 110% the rocks. That is what it is. They can't swim under this ice dam right here. It's impossible for them. They get stuck in the damn rocks. Maybe a few will get through, but... Not that many. Okay, a lot of the people are up here. They're gathering fish in the community to try to use them for what they can. The majority of this is gar. There's a lot of gar in there. Um, I just seen her throw up a crappie. They're kind of going, picking and choosing, going through. There's obviously a lot of carp. There's some perch, uh, northerns. Some walleyes in there. But this is what I'm talking about right here. Where the, everybody thinks it's oxygen that's causing this. No, it's not. There's, there's a dam made by ice, made on the rocks. The fish can't swim under it. That's what's going on. There's a northern pike right there. Some carp, more gar. I don't know if you can see it, but the fish that actually did wiggle out are down in the water, and they didn't make it. It's too damn shallow. They're just stuck on the rocks dying. There's nowhere for them to go. A lot of these fish, they're still alive down there. They're not dead yet. They're stuck. It's not environmental bad shit with the water or oxygen. It's just a really, really... Really terrible engineering design, and it's worse than it was yesterday for sure. That's a lot of fish. Wow, some really bad news out of South Dakota. It seems like the government has erected a fish trap of sorts. That's killing fish by the tens of thousands, it looks like. If not much more than that. The citizens of the town seem very concerned, and rightfully so, as huge piles of fish start aggregating at this atrocious, terrible design as a result of this government-engineered fish kill. Absolutely disgusting. So it seems the South Dakota government has joined the other countries of the world in their attempts to kill off the natural wildlife, and we're seeing way too many dead fish washing ashore in country after country after country. Now we have a new location. This was filmed in January of 2023 in South Dakota. This is extremely ominous given the skyrocketing food prices, the massive inflation that we're seeing, all of these food warehouses going up in flames, up in smoke, millions of dead fish piling up around the world. This seems like a coordinated, orchestrated attack on humanity. This is genocidal. This cannot be tolerated. This is absolutely crazy. This is sinister. This is evil. And these governments who are killing huge numbers of fish, killing the wildlife, are taxing people to death and sending all their money to Ukraine. Huge slap in the face. And this is worse than just insult to injury. This is mass murder. This is enslaving people by artificially raising the food prices. Instead of just letting us be. I'm so sick of these freaks. So I wanted to get this update out there. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.